एवरीवन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट अ होम्योपैथिक रेमेडी कॉल्ड लाइकोपोडियम क्लबैटम इंट्रोडक्शन लाइकोपोडियम इज अ वंडरफुल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डीप एक्टिंग रेमेडी फॉर द डीप सीटेड प्रोग्रेसिव क्रोनिक डिसीजेस सो लाइकोपोडियम इज अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रेमेडी इट इज गिवन इन केसेस ऑफ क्रोनिक डिसीजेस विच आर डीप सीटेड एंड दे आर प्रोग्रेसिव इन नेचर क्रोनिक डिसीजेस आर द डिसीजेस विच लास्ट फॉर मेनी ईयर्स लाइकोपोडियम इज इंडिकेटेड इन क्रोनिक डिसीजेस ऑफ डीप सीटेड एंड प्रोग्रेसिव नेचर इट इज निकनेम्ड एज वेजिटेबल सल्फर सो द लाइकोपोडियम हैज गॉट अ निक नेम एंड द निक नेम इज वेजिटेबल सल्फर The drug is inert until the spores are crushed. It is wonderful medicinal properties are only disclosed by trituration and succussion. So the medicinal properties of lycopodium can be discovered by crushing the spores by trituration and succussion. Only by removing the spores from the lycopodium and crushing them we get the medicinal properties out of it. The common name of lycopodium is club moss also known as wolf's claw prover hanemin family lycopodiaceae the common name of lycopodium is club moss or wolf's claw the sphere of action lycopodium acts upon the mucous membrane of the respiratory system the digestive system and the genito urinary tract you can see in the picture respiratory system digestive system and genito urinary tract the genital tract as well as the urinary tract kidneys as well as the genitals genito urinary tract it acts on the mucous membrane of these three systems and along with that it also acts upon the digestive tract and liver we read that already digestive tract and also liver the constitution the physical makeup of lycopodium guys since we know the lycopodium is a constitutional remedy it is very important for us to know the constitution for persons intellectually keen but physically weak so intellectually keen means mentally active people they are very interested keen people mentally but physically they are weak upper part of the body is emaciated emaciated means very lean and thin loss of flesh from the body completely thin emaciated people from the upper half of the body and the lower part semi dropsical semi dropsical dropsical means edematous swelling but the upper part is upper body is thin and emaciated whereas the lower part of the body is semi dropsical it they are predisposed to lung and hepatic affections so it acts upon the lungs and the liver and bring in affections of the lungs and liver calcarea fos and sulfur also has the same affections lung and lung and hepatic affections especially the extremes of life children and old people are affected in lycopodium the extremes of the life that is the children and the old people those are the two extremes of our life child and old the two extremes it acts well deep seated progressive chronic diseases it acts on the deep seated progressive chronic diseases can be cured by lycopodium clavatum The complexion of lycopodium is pale, dirty, unhealthy, sallow with a deep furrows, looks older than he is. So, the complexion, the look of the patient is pale, dirty and unhealthy. You can see the girl here, she is pale. You see the skin, it is unhealthy, dirty, sallow. Sallow means yellowish discoloration. you see the face the skin of the face yellowish discoloration is found the pale unhealthy dirty skin sallow with deep furrows looks older than she is now let us move on to the generalities of lycopodium 
Lycopodium is a right-sided remedy. There is predominance of symptoms on the right side of the body and they are likely to travel from the right side to the left and from above downwards. The example from the head to the chest. So guys from the above that is head downwards to the chest. The symptoms move. They have a tendency to move from right to left above to down. It is a right sided remedy. Lycopodium is a right sided remedy. Thermals. The patient is sensitive to cold and there is a marked lack of vital heat. So these people are predisposed to catching cold. They're, they are sensitive to cold and they lack the vital heat in them. There is lack of vital heat. It is worse in general from cold and cold air and from cold food and drinks. So the aggravation is from cold and cold air. Cold food and drinks also aggravation. Everything cold aggravation. The pains are ameliorated from warmth except of the head and the spine. So guys, aggravation from cold, cold air, cold food and drinks. Amelioration, warmth. But the head and the spine does not get relief even from warmth. Miasm. It covers all the three miasms. It is antisoric, antisyphilitic, antipsychotic. Lycopodium covers all three miasms. Antisoric, syphilitic and antipsychotic. The diathesis. Lithic and uric acid diathesis predisposed to lung and hepatic affections. You see, the lithic and uric acid diathesis is found. They are predisposed to the lung and liver affections. Same in sulfur and calcarea fos as we read earlier. The most important thing of lycopodium is understanding the mentals in detail. So you get a complete picture of the drug. Mind, the mental symptoms of lycopodium are numerous. First, he is tired. He has a tired state of mind, a chronic fatigue. So guys, the person is tired. You need to imagine a patient, a person who is tired. The mind is also tired from chronic fatigue, from ages, totally fatigue person, forgetfulness, aversion to undertaking anything new. They are not exciting, taking up new tasks and energetic. No, lycopodium has aversion to taking anything new. Aversion to appearing in any new role. Aversion to his own work. So, lycopodium patient has aversion to his own work. He does not like going to the office. Aversion to his own work. He has chronic fatigue. Dreads lest something will happen, lest he will forget something. So, the person fears that something is going to happen and he is going to forget it. A continually increasing fear of appearing in public comes on, yet a horror at times of solitude. So, the person fears to come in public. There is a horror and also sometimes of solitude that is being alone. The lycopodium patient fears of being alone. From this paragraph, we learn that patient is tired. There is chronic fatigueness of the mind and he has aversion to taking up a new task. He has a fear of forgetting and fear of coming in public. Often in professional men like lawyers and ministers who have to appear in public, there is a feeling of incompetence, a feeling of inability to undertake his task, although he has been accustomed to it for many years. So guys, here what they're saying is, in professional men like lawyers and ministers, they have a think that they have to appear in public and perform their task but lycopodium patient has a feeling of incompetence incompetence means lack of ability they fear that they won't be able to take up the task and even though they have been accustomed to it accustomed is being used to it for many years they are as a lawyer for many years yet they fear to come and take up the case a lawyer cannot think of appearing in court. He procrastinates 
he delays until he is obliged to appear because he has a fear that he will stumble that he will make mistakes that he will forget and yet he undertakes it he goes through with ease and comfort so now here the saying is lycopodium patient procrastinates which means he is going to delay the court's dating they ask him to appear in the court the lawyer is not present why the lycopodium patient fears that he is going to go there and stumble he is going to forget the case yet when he takes up the case he does it with all ease and comfort this is a striking feature of silesia also the dread of appearing in public and when appearing takes the task and does it with ease and comfort is the characteristic which is found in lycopodium as well as silesia no medicines have this fear so marked as of these two hope the first mental symptom is clear the professional men like lawyers and ministers who have a fear of appearing in public even though they are accustomed to it they for they fear that they are going to forget it they are going to stumble and they are going to make mistakes and but when they take up the task they are going to complete it with ease and comfort same is found in silesia mentals continuation lycopodium has a religious insanity religious madness which has a mild and simple beginning a matter of melancholy that is it is going to start in a simple prayer and then it is going to end up in religious insanity madness this is going to be sadness the religious sadness melancholy grows greater and greater until he sits and broods so the religious madness is going to extend to a level where the patient starts to weep and brood over it he has very often aversion to company yet he dreads solitude the person doesn't want company yet he fears of being alone in the next slide we are going to discuss this point in detail as of now the religious insanity the person broods it goes to a level where the religiousness he sits and broods over it next the dread of men and dread of solitude you see the person has dread of men and dread of solitude there is irritability and aversion to new people taciturnity desires to be alone taciturnity we have read this earlier in other uh, drugs taciturn means a person who is highly reserved conservative unwilling to speak now let us follow that out a little further the taciturnity is because the patient does not want to talk wants to keep silent yet as i have said all already we are very glad to feel that there's somebody else in the house and that she is not alone so the lycopodium patient she does not want company but she also fears to be alone so she wants somebody in the house but she does not want to be with them she desires to be in a room but she also wants somebody to be there in the house she is perfectly willing to remain in a little room by herself so that she is practically alone yet not in solitude if there was two adjacent rooms in the house you would commonly find that lycopodium go into one and stay there but very happy and glad that somebody else is also present in the house hope this uh, point is very clear to you this is a very characteristic she wants to be alone but also wants somebody else to be present around her the lycopodium patient often weeps in the act of receiving a friend or meeting an acquaintance you can see the person is very emotional here she weeps she cries when she is receiving a friend or meeting an acquaintance an unusual sadness with weeping comes over this patient on receiving a gift you gift something to a lycopodium lycopodium patient she starts weeping she is so emotionally touched by the little things at the slightest joy she weeps hence we see that lycopodium patient is very nervous sensitive emotional patient here it is sensitive even cries when thanked a thanksgiving 
you uh, she calls you for the thanksgiving you present her a gift she is going to weep on it even you thank her for the slightest thing the slightest joy is going to end up in tears the tears of joy is found in lycopodium when lying in bed suffering from the lower forms of fevers there is delirium and even unconsciousness we'll be dealing with it uh, in particulars in detail as of now when the person is lying in the bed there are fevers delirium and unconsciousness he picks at imaginary things in air so the person is trying to catch the imaginary things in the air the person sees flies and all sorts of little things flying in the air in the air so guys the person sees that the little things are flying in the air the flies he tries to catch them excessively merry and laughs at simplest things there is excessive merry and they laugh even at the smallest joke they start laughing a condition of insanity despondent lycopodium patient wakes up in the morning with the sadness there is sadness and gloom the world may come to an end or the whole family may die or the house may burn up so the lycopodium patient feels all these things on waking up he feels that his family is going to come to an end the house is going to set up on fire there is sadness gloomingness gloomy the patient is all sad and gloomy there seems to be nothing cheering the future looks completely black after moving about a while this passes off this state precedes conditions of insanity and finally a suicidal state comes and aversion to life so how is it the progress of the sadness first the person is sad on waking up he feels there is complete darkness in his life and after moving a while this passes off later again the condition proceeds to a state of madness then land up in a suicidal state and has an aversion to life apprehensiveness difficult breathing and fearfulness anxious thoughts as if about to die want of self confidence we read that in the uh, like the lawyers and ministers point lack want of self confidence indecision timidity resignation loss of confidence in himself and in everything distrustful suspicious and fault finding over sensitiveness to pain is also found in lycopodium ailments from fright anger vexation fear anger and vexation vexation means a state of annoyance the person is completely annoyed a state of annoyance anger vexation reserved displeasure they have a displeasure that is a disagreement to something they are reserving it reserved displeasure thank you with this we come to an end of mental symptoms of lycopodium and the introduction in the next video we are going to deal about the particulars of lycopodium if you like my video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel